Hi guys, Mike here from LM Gaming. Uh, today we're gonna set up the script uh, Scottish Tryhard 6 version 1.05. Uh, first off, we're going to reset our Zen. We're going to do this by pressing the two blue buttons and plugging it in. Yeah. The lights are going to turn up, and when it's blue and off, then you're ready. We're going to reset it. We're going to plug in the program cable. And next off, we're gonna go to, let's see, uh, and now we're gonna go to the Taylor Drift Discord for the file. You can go to STH6 download. Here it is, here it is. You can also go to the LM Gaming Facebook page. Uh, you go to files and here it is. You can download this one or you can download this one. We're gonna download it, continue. Yeah, we're gonna keep it, it's gonna give you a message, keep it. Open the file and here it is. Here you can set all your preset controller layouts. I always play on default flip, but you can choose all you want. Block rumble, we're gonna set it to enabled. That way your controller doesn't uh, vibrate all the time. Uh, next up and quick toggles, you can set all the quick toggles you want. Smart rapid fire, hold grass cross or jump shot rapid fire. I have my rapid fire always on L2 and square if I want it. Uh, next up, we have quick scope, fast melee, drop shot, recall on the fly if you want that. Uh, and the profiles here you can see for most people it's uh, triangle, this one, but. I always use a one profile method, an OPM, so called. And that's why I don't use this at all. I have one aim assist setting for all my guns. Enter a custom name LM Gaming. Uh, this name will uh, appear on the front of your screen when you load it up on the Zen. For AA values, I'm always going to go for Braveheart. This is a dynamic. Uh, that means when you uh, move your stick, it will become smaller at the end. Uh, ADS or fire. Uh, for fire type, you can choose ADS only, fire only, ADS and fire or fire. But for me, it's always ADS or fire. That's good for tracking when you don't shoot. Uh, ADS shape. For ADSing, so when you want to track, always on helix. Uh, let's see, fire shaped circle, that's good. Speed of 35, uh, radius of 9. I want my shape direction, that means when I move my stick to the left or the right, the uh, shape will be drawn in that direction. Uh, I don't use hip assist because I place mostly. Uh, wall zone or resurgence. <coughs> uh, it's good for uh, multiplayer. But, uh, rotational AA, yes, I want that on delayed for now. I only want on ADS and fire or fire, so only when I shoot. Uh, I want LS speed of 120 and I want a radius of 35. I want it to be strafe. You can also choose diagonal, but I always use this one. I want a delay time of 200. Uh, that means it will kick in after this one. Uh, I want the boost on my right stick, so that means this one. This is the right stick, aim assist. 
uh, and I want that enabled. I want zero boost speed, but I want an extra radius when I shoot. So only when I shoot, it will become nine plus two. We have this one, nine. And I'm gonna boost it on fire, so with a radius of two, so it becomes 11. I don't want to boost on my left stick. My left stick is the Siren AA. Uh, so I leave that disabled. I want my tail of tracking assist on. And I want only when I shoot or ADS and shoot a tracking speed of six for now and tracking radius of two. Uh, these options we're going to leave disabled but that's because of the recent update from the PS5. Uh, so we have all this together. Now we're going to generate it. You can save it as a GPC file if you like to send somebody or you can load it all in. Uh, uh, you can save it by this one and later lo load it all in or send to a friend or a buddy or whatever and he can load it in. Uh, so for now we're going to say generate script. There it is in the compiler. We're going to select it all. We're going to say compile. And we're going to go to the programmer tab. We're going to hear the script and you we're going to place it in there. We're going to save it to the device and then we're going to set up the script on the Zen for future play. Okay, now we have our script on the Zen. We're going to open it by pressing ADS and options. For me, that's uh, R. Uh, for me, that's L1 and options. Uh, first, I'm always going to set up my controller configuration. Uh, on my dead, dead zone feature on, both on 0, 2. In game, I have my dead zone on 0, 0. Uh, Rumble adaption on 2. Uh, that's our feature, that's it. I want my smart features on. I'm going to play the PS4 version of the game. Uh, smart features. Uh, I'm going to set my auto detection on. Smart rapid fire on. I'm going to press X. I'm going to, uh, I can control my RPS. I'm going to set it to 12. Miscellaneous mass. I want my normal slide cancel on 300 milliseconds. Cancel reload on. Golf and no, oh no, oh no. VM speed. For me, it's always minus four. I like that. Uh, uh, let's see. Shot mass. And this one also on 12. If I I use it. Uh, drop shot, jump shot, uh, enemy ping I want on and I'm gonna use my bumpers to flip to this. I'm gonna I wanna ADS and fire over fire. Uh, I'm gonna set it to six hundred, I like that. Uh, aim assist. These are the values we put into the program. Helix circle 35 and uh, all of those. Uh, on delayed 120, 35, strafe 200, boost on fire, uh, tracking assess, blah blah blah. And T recoil, here we go. I want my crowbar AR. I, want, I like that. With the bumpers, I can turn my hip fire on. That means when you only fire, the recoil will also be uh, enabled. 
I want a rumble of values. So I'm going to set these all. That's quite a process, I know. Also, an 18 horizontal strength step five. I'm gonna okay. Here we go. Horizontal step five. Open as a form. That's good. So I have step one, seven, increments of one. So that's all set. And now we're ready to go.